Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. My day is going pretty good actually. I've just got back from doing some Christmas shopping. Uh, my wallet's feeling a whole lot lighter, but I think the kids are going to be so happy with their gifts this year. Not that they weren't last year, but I love seeing the smile on their faces on Christmas morning. And Kat got a little bit spoiled as well, but don't tell her. Anyway, today we are reacting to Blooming Onions, Better Than Outback's Blooming Onion Recipe. And this is of course from Cowboy Kent Rowland, and I love this guy. I've been making his cowboy coffee uh, that we reacted to a while ago I'll stick the link up in one of these corners I've been making that every day and I freaking love it I love it It was a game changer I was doing it completely wrong before if you don't know what I'm talking about check out the video after this one but before we get into today's video if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit the, the subscribe button and if you're feeling extra frisky you may as well give the video a like as well I do have a buy me a coffee page and a patreon page link down in the description if you want to help support the channel that'll be freaking awesome but please feel no obligation to do so and without further ado let's check out these blooming onions Woo! i know you've heard of a blooming onion but folks we put a southwestern flair on this and i mean coated mm. it well and deep fried it that crust just jumping that out of there onion see is it, and guess what what the hell that is huge the onions we get here the biggest one i've seen because i like we grow our own onions we grow a lot of onions and they're usually about that big which is fine but I like onions, so when I'm cooking and I have to peel three or four different onions, it really winds me up. I'd rather just do it once. I hate peeling onions, uh, but yeah, that thing is massive. I should be wearing my cowboy hat, really, but I won't do that to you now. A special sauce that's got a little bite to it, so come on, me and the pups ain't gonna wait long. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard on a breezy afternoon in southwest Oklahoma. What are we talking about? Cowboy cooking at its best. Yes, we are. And folks, I, I have love ordered accent. these things. I have craved them at times. I've wanted them when I went in places and they didn't have them. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to make one. What are we talking about? Blooming onion. Crispy fried. Got a little hint of southwest flavor there to it. And whoo we is it going to be good. Mm. Well, folks, I'm telling you. I've never had one of these onions. I really want one. I love onions. I know I've mentioned it a thousand times. I love onions and garlic. I like. I love them. Can't live without those. Whew. Blooming onion. Blooming onion fried in the wind. And it may be a little bit breezy when we go to throw it over. So you're going to see flour running from one direction to the <laughs> other. And if you don't flour. believe me, it's Wendy. Oh, Glory there is standing out there showing her stuff. She is. And we're proud to have her. But folks ask me all the time, Come on. what is this you have on you here? Is it a little furry kitten? No, it is a one and what you call dead cat, fuzzy mouse, something like that. <laughs> but folks, a road mic and this little windsock right here, it is the best thing we've ever found to film an outside in windy condition or any condition we are. And I need to get some of those because I've got to start up my other channel again, my John Graham channel. Uh, yeah, I've got some missions planned up that I really want to start filming in that again. I, I miss doing those videos, but I've got to order some mics. If y'all be interested in one of these road mics and filming out in the wind just like we do, there'll be a little link down there in the description below to where you can find one. Folks, you can't go wrong with this thing. But let's talk about the star of the show. What did it is? They're not that big. When you go to pick out an onion, folks, mm, I need you to realize that this end is very important. The root end. And I need them to where they're sort of going to be able to set on that root when we get all done. So you don't want one of them that's leaning all over here oblong to one side or the other. They need to be perfectly round. And what kind of onion are we talking about using? I prefer a Vidalia onion. I need that sweetness. Now, I have done them with a white onion, but you get so much more flavor with one of these good, a Texas sweet or a Vidalia onion out of Georgia. Mm. And some of you folks... <laughs> What are you doing, girl? Hey, 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 what are you doing? I don't even know where you're at. Y'all remember when we had the bad ice storm and we introduced you to Major back there in a video or two we did that we took in, but Shan is fostering peanut here. She is a good pup, got a lot of energy. Vidalia onion, sharp knife, cutting board. Now, first of all, this is not the root end. That's the end that the green stuff was on. So I need you just to cut him off there pretty straight as you can and across there like that. And folks, this is some of the hardest part of the onion deal to me is just getting all the onion skin off of it. It do take a little time, onions, so man. just bear with me because we're going to be here for about two and a half hours, I think. <laughs> two hours later. Turn him over. See, he's sitting just flat as he can. And ain't he so pretty shining there in the evening sun? Sharp knife. 
I want you to see right here, and I'm going to put it up here to where y'all can see it. Oh, you come down here room, about man. a half inch, and you make a cut all the way across. Move it over here to about, I'd say, let me see, uh, if we're looking at 12, that's 520. And then we're going to move him again over here. Be sure you stay down there that half inch. Come back over here again. One more time. Two, no? And then yeah. I want you to do it right here on this one. And we got all these little sections that are here. Now you just need to come back in there. And this is hard for me to do when I'm looking at it from the back side. And I need you to go in between them and make you two more cuts. Just make sure you stay down there below that half inch line. So we got her there. Ooh. Now I just need you to look here and just oh, go wow. pulling hey. some of these apart. And you can see, just make sure you get them separate. I know blooming means like a blooming flower, but you know what it reminds me of? A water lily flower. That's so cool. Ready, but I'm really going to try this. Because I thought... See one here like I did. Sorry to interrupt again. I thought when I saw the first part of the video that the onion had to be about that big. It's nice to see that I can probably still get onions that size here. So I'm going to give this a go. Plumb through, take your knife and just make it on through there. And look what you have. A blooming onion. Well, folks, I put me two cups of all-purpose flour in there. To that, we are going to add us some what corn starch we are starch. and then we're going to put us in some baking powder which is about a half a tablespoon if we can get it in there for the wind blowing some smoked paprika and guess what i told you it's going to have a little southwestern flair remember i did some cumin i do be loving me some cumin in cumin. there now i love the way we're going he to speaks also throw some what in there chili powder yes we are because i do be liking that stuff a lot and then I'm going to have me some of this here mesquite seasoning that we got. He's hey, always using mesquite. I prefer to use the three pound bag, I do, which we have on our website. So, whoa, that's the right amount right there. <laughs> that was exactly two tablespoons. Yeah, I promise exactly. You. I need you to incorporate that well. Just mix it all up. You can see it's got that good color that that cumin and oregano and the reason I really love that Red River Ranch seasoning so much is it's got that ancho chili in there. It's not spicy. Don't let the word chili scare you, but it brings out a great smoky flavor. So we're going to move on to the wet now. We're going to heat the oil and we're going to baptize us an onion and get after it. Two fine specimens of what? You in the back row by the water faucet. Yes, you are right. You went a free trip to wherever you want to go and find a dozen eggs in the hen house. Cackleberry, hen fruit, rooster bullets, two of them. And folks, uh-oh, I want a shell. If you got fresh eggs, hey, I'll be telling you to use them on this deal because that's what's happening, some good fresh eggs. Mm -hmm. To that, we're going to add a cup of milk, which is probably, I'd say, about that much. Get your fancy little pretty whisk that Shannon's furnished me today, <laughs> and I want you to beat it really well. We're going to get that onion out here in just a minute, but folks, we're going to dust him just a tad when we get him with what? Who, who knows? Who knows what we're going to dust on him to help everything stick together? Yes, you on top of the house, sitting up there in the third row. Yep, I know who you are. What is it? Yep, you guessed her right, cornstarch. So let me look over here in the ice box and guess what we have? A blooming onion, we do. And I'm going to move him right here in the middle where everybody can see him. I need you to take some of this here cornstarch. And in a 40 mile an hour breeze, trying to get a little bit of it on an onion might be a little difficult. But I just need oh, you man. to give him a little dust. It's there. so windy. Give him a good shaking. There's one, two participants that didn't take the abuse. So get him on here. And then I want you to just take him right here. Put him what where? Does the corn starch do? It's going to help the batter stick to it a little better and dry some of that out right there to where everything can get a hold. So into the. What? Jesus. Into the dry ingredients it went. And I want you to get it in there. And if Shan will zoom in here, I want to make sure that everybody gets flyered well. Then I want you to shake a little of it and make sure. 
I've got a couple cooking videos that I did on my other channel uh, of Slovak food here in Slovakia. And I'm, I love, I'd rather cook outside anytime. I hate cooking inside. Uh, I want to actually eventually, we've still got so much work to do to our house here where we're living now, but I want to actually build like an out, outdoor kitchen area so I can cook outside because I love doing stuff like this. Uh, I'll put those videos of my cooking ones down in the description if you want to check them out. They're pretty... Uh, Pretty interesting. I did a goulash and I, what else did I do? I did halushki. Did I do anything else? Oh, and I did mushrooms with foraged mushrooms that I found. Sure you got her dusted again. And guess what? Oh, so gingerly. That looks him so up, different already. Place him in the wet. Give him a good rolling around there. You may even have to turn him over to make sure that he's good and coated everywhere. And then, then the he's coming again. back over here to see the dry again. And this is where it gets a little difficult. You have to make sure that you spread them petals to where you can get the flour mixture down in there. That's gonna ensure that you get a crispy bite in every one of them. Well, I needed you to be preheating you a Dutch oven or something that you're really gonna do some deep frying into 375 degrees. Now be careful because you don't wanna get plumb up to the top, but Folks, we need it to nearly cover that onion so we don't have to roll him around much. And I don't need you to be just flopping him over in there because, whew, this thing could get damaged. Shake yeah. a little of that excess off. That's what I was worrying about. I'll end up breaking it. I'm quite clumsy, I have to admit. Like. Get you something to hold him there. And then guess what? Do it to it. Jesus, that oh, is ain't hard. that a beautiful sound and things is looking so gorgeous in there Flipping and we're going to go about five to hell. seven minutes folks till it gets good and golden brown and crispy and the goodness is just wanting to jump out of the pot and say wrap a lip around it I'm ready to go <laughs> I love him oh. oh sorry I've got to fast forward the music I don't want to get copyright oh man creation there i mean that onion done bloomed and blossomed and i mean it's shouting out the goodness now i don't know if y'all can see but everybody be sniffing of my pocket right here because you know them dogs can't eat no fried onion but i have been way ahead today i have me some pup treats for my good help and the big has seniority so he eats first duker been here next he's already up on my like like list i love this guy because he loves his dogs as well we've got two dogs and i tell you what i'd be lost without jacob he follows me literally everywhere if he could be in our bedroom now he would be um but because he's a bit he's like an outdoor indoor dog i don't want him in my room because he needs a bath <laughs> at the moment he smells a bit uh but it's too cold to bath him but yeah he would be here on the floor with me i, I love my dog Next. major has been here and come here peanut right here you go and I got one for Shan. You want yours? <laughs> so, here. I'll make for the onion. Go ahead, Big. We'll let you have that. You be needing to make this sauce ahead of time. Stick it in an icebox about 30 minutes because you can be eating that just like that. And let me tell you, folks, it'll make you do all kinds of little dancing jigs and everything else. But when you kick it up a notch, that stuff right there, whoo, doggies, that Jed Clampett would say. That stuff <laughs> is good. And the recipe is down there on the rest of it. But all it is is simple. Just Duke's mayo, some sour cream, some ketchup, some Worcestershire, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. Mm, I mean, all the good stuff is in there. And what do we get to do now, Shan? I think I'm going to get this bite right here. And I'm just going to pull him out of there. Mm. Dip it in the little sauces. Mm. Mm. That crunch, that goodness. Oh my God. Praise the Lord. Pass the biscuits and set one of them blooming onions on the table for breakfast because it's going to be a great day. We're going to give it some of this and give it some of this. And Peanut says she's going to dance. You're going to dance, Peanut? at a girl. Huh? Good girl. Whew. Fine dining it is. And remember now, 375 degrees. Drop her in there oh so gingerly, and you see me right there at the end of it, just sort of hold you a little pressure on it to make sure all that oil is coating over the top there, and let it fry till it gets good and gold and crispy brown. Now it can look done, but if you don't cook it long enough, you'll have trouble pulling the petals from the rows, I promise you that. And you see me reach in there pretty close to the last, and just pull it up out of that grease a little and just give it a little this motion right here sort of puts a little pressure on them leaves and helps them spread out a little more and I have known a lot of people 
when they be frying, they be trying to stick that fork down there and spread that apart. That's a good way to get your fingers burned. I wouldn't do that because I still got the band-aids from the burns before y'all was noticing. <laughs> so remember, everything that we used in this video that you need to know about, the recipe and everything else will be listed down there in the little link below. And as always, I pay tribute with great honor to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept this old country safe and thank each and every one of you for everything that you do for us and watching this channel oh how we love you we do and remember what else come on in here Shan. god bless you one and all and guess what i'll see you down the blooming onion trail what an absolute gentleman i love this guy he is so he just seems like such a genuinely nice guy, right? I'm just finding the recipe so I can get it. Principal recipe, got it. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, of course. Right, I've got it here. I'm going to save it. I mean, I know it's not a, a very detailed recipe, but it's always good to have on hand. So I've got that now as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, let me know if you tried a blooming onion. What do you think of them? Are you an onion person or are you not so much of an onion person? Like I've said, I freaking love onions. So I will definitely be giving this a go. Um, Kat loves onions as well. So yeah, although the other day it was quite embarrassing. <laughs> It was quite embarrassing. We had our yearly, uh, we got to go every year to the doctors here for what I call an MOT, basically. They just check you out, make sure everything's all right. And we're sitting in the waiting room. She said to me, did you shower this morning? I was like, yeah, of course. She said, you stink like onions again. <laughs> so maybe it's not such a good thing that I love them so much. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Have an awesome weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.